Biden to deliver remarks at roundtable with Jewish community leaders washing TON. President Joe Biden is set to stop by a roundtable with Jewish community leaders on Wednesday afternoon and deliver remarks on his administration's support for Israel amid its war with Hamas, as well as efforts to combat anti-Semitism. Second Gentleman Doug Emhoff, who is Jewish, will also deliver remarks at the event, slated to begin at 4 to 15 p.m., according to the White House. In a 10-minute address from the White House on Tuesday, Biden issued a stern condemnation of Hamas, vicious attacks, on Israel, that he said led to 1,000 Israeli and at least 14 American fatalities. There are moments in this life when pure, unadulterated evil is unleashed on the world, Biden said, with Vice President Kamala Harris and Secretary of State Antony Blinken standing behind him as he reiterated his support for Israel. The people of Israel lived through one such moment this weekend. As of Wednesday morning, at least 1,200 Israelis, including more than 150 soldiers, have been killed and more than 2,700 injured, according to the Israeli Defense Forces. At least 1,087 people in Gaza have been killed and 5,000 injured, according to the health ministries in Gaza and the West Bank. The president, in his remarks on Tuesday, also confirmed for the first time that Americans are among the those being held hostage by Hamas fighters but he did not specify how many. A White House national security official, however, on Tuesday said 20 Americans are unaccounted for since Hamas. Surprise attack on Israel. Biden also said he has directed U.S. officials to offer their expertise in assisting Israel's efforts to free the hostages. As president, he added, I have no higher priority than the safety of Americans being held hostage around the world. Biden excoriated. Hamas for its abhorrent attacks, which he described as violations of human rights. Infants in their mother's arms, grandparents in wheelchairs, Holocaust survivors abducted and held hostage, hostages who Hamas has now threatened to execute in violation of every code of human morality. He issued those remarks after speaking with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu on the phone. Family members of Americans believed to have been taken hostage by Hamas have called on the Biden administration to take action to bring them home. As he commits to supporting Israel, Biden is facing competing pressures within his own party. With some progressives having already signaled that they'll push for Netanyahu to scale back the lethality of the counterattack if the civilian Palestinian death toll rises. NBC News reported Monday that the Biden administration was sending ships from the Navy's USS Gerald R. Ford Carrier Strike Group to the Eastern Mediterranean Sea, and officials plan to keep in place some F-16 and A-10 fighter jets that had been scheduled to rotate out of the region, according to a U.S. official. The move is intended to signal a message to stand down, the official said. Israel said Wednesday morning that its fighter jets have struck 450 targets in Gaza in 24 hours. The country's military claimed Tuesday to have regained control inside the country after it launched a full siege of Gaza that cut off food, gas or power from the densely populated area. Blinken is set to travel to Israel on Wednesday. After he arrives on Thursday, the Secretary of State is expected to meet with senior leaders in the Israeli government in Continue, discussions he and the president have been having with them since the initial attack, said a spokesperson for the State Department.